Cheerio. No. No. I can't say that. Do another one. Would you like a spot of tea? London, we are coming to you. God, that was awful. Do Guys, a top boy one. What? Nah, I don't even know what the fuck they be saying, bruh. Anyways, <laughs> London, we are here with our rescheduled date and we will be in London on May the 5th. By okay. the way, that is a very important American-Mexican holiday to us. <laughs> so the fact that we coming out there is a big deal. We're going to be at the Earth Theater. That's it's right. on a Sunday. So if you live in another country or you live in another city a little bit further away from London, we would love for you to come visit us. We made it on the weekend just so everybody that missed us last time is able to see us this time. And it's a whole new show. It is a whole new show. And we are really excited to be taking our live show to London yet again. So make sure you go head on over to whorehive.com. Go all the way down to tour and click on the London show. Again, if you have already purchased tickets, those will be fine and will be able to get you into the building. So again, make sure you go to whorehive.com and get your tickets now, London. Love y'all. Boom, chicka, wow, wow. Welcome to another episode of Horrible Decisions, guys. I'm your girl, Mandy B, a.k.a. Pike the Stallion, a.k.a. Full Court Pumps, a.k.a. Debt Bitch. My name is Wheezy, and what an uncomfortable <laughs> episode for me. <laughs> Both of my business partners here. And y'all also, may know him if you've been listening for a while. The last time that we all sat on a couch, we were having a powwow about how we're going to respect each other. It was an interesting powwow. But also, we must thank Philly. No, Philly Philly brought us together and shout out to Philly. Mm-hmm. Um, shout out to what the, just the, the whole night. I well, so y'all, your, here we go. Let's introduce the guest. Yeah, because we do a really bad job at apparently said, introducing shout out our to your therapist, bitch, because <laughs> you were the one with the problem. Whoa. That's actually not what he said. You just added a whole bunch at the end of it. You did add. You just you added what you said. Not. Oh, now y'all want to team up? Do you want to know what's yes, crazy? This is exactly what she did when she had to call. <laughs> Wait, this is exactly what she did when she tried to create a narrative, called Vinny, and Vinny was like, bitch, that never happened. Yeah. So shout out to people who I didn't try in... to create a narrative. Vinny wants you to be, be nice you to be you. be creating the narrative. He Real said quick. she was tripping. No, he said, you, he said you're lying on air. And Go back Alex and... is here. Alex Media is here in the building. Okay, there we go. Uh, hand claps. I actually wanted those inserted, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> damn, y'all just uh, copy here. Um, but yeah, that was the last year. Not last year. It was the year before last. Twenty twenty three was a little. No, it was twenty twenty two. I think we had that. Oh, time. right. Yeah. I, but uh, anyways, right anyways, Philly was great. Um, me and Alex, and y'all know, I, apparently, y'all want to call me a bully, but I give people a lot of chances in life. <laughs> um, nonetheless, <laughs> nonetheless, uh, me and Alex are back cool so y'all can get off the Reddit threads and everywhere else. Yes. We had a really good talk. We embraced each other. Um, he topped me off for my drink today. Hey, Paul's wow. his partner is here, just so you know. <laughs> um, all respectful. But no, um, we had a, a long talk. And I think it was before the drinks were really flowing because by the end of the night, we were drunk. Yeah. I don't know if even tears came It was getting eyes. like, when I it looked was... at you guys, you know when people do Molly, <laughs> sorry, I have to go bring Rick back to drugs. And you're like, are they having a moment? Because I couldn't tell what was going on because when Mandy gets very, um, don't do this. What, when I get what? <laughs> when you're like over being angry, like you're like, oh, I realize this isn't serving me. Yeah. Mandy doesn't realize how aggressive she's saying something. So like, I remember you did it to me once and you were like, Cause like for most of the time, like you're just a bitch and like I'm really mad about it. And so like I'm just saying to you, you've been a bitch, but like I don't want to do this anymore. Like I just feel like we don't need to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I could see that, her hand. Wait, you agree with that? It was a okay. little bit in that. It was like oh, that's you were you trashing me during the apology. Like you need to get it out. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> No, because But I like it. Okay. It was real. Okay. Yeah. And so that's the thing. We were right? like Oprah and Drew Barrymore, just like hand in hand the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's how y'all look. Like, really so was. mind you, the new dude that I'm dating has no context because he and that's where he met me the first time was in Philly. That's right. But I'm like watching y'all talk and I'm like, oh my God, you don't understand what's going on. But also oh real quick, I'm a floater bitch. So even if I'm saying the most endearing shit, like a bitch might just be talking with her hands. And I kind of want you to feel me. But so I, I can't hear hand. anything, y'all. Oh, no, so it, I just see both of my business partners <laughs> in the corner yes. using hands. Yes. yes. So I'm like scared and he's like, mind you, the dude I'm dating is like, 
What is that? Why are you acting like? And I'm like, no, you don't understand what's going on. I don't know if I need to go over there. And also, Mandy and I got a really big show coming up in New York. Do I got to take this to the side? <laughs> Alex and I are also getting this new studio, and I've been on the road. Now I got to be nice to this thing. What the fuck am I supposed to do so, right now? So from afar, it looked like there was an argument when in reality, at the end of it, we embraced in a hug. Mm -hmm. um, and it really was, yeah, I think it was that. It was just like, we're all doing a lot of the same things. We, we five years ago, we're all in different positions. So, there, and, and I've sold this to Weezy as well. I think over the last couple of years, there's just been, there's no way to deny a respect factor across the board. Mm -hmm. And what I've seen you be, be able to accomplish the same with Weezy. And in terms of our peers, even, I think uh, Wolf has sat here and seeing us grow over, whether I don't like you or not, it's one of those where I could be, Maybe I'm not the biggest See, fan of Drake. You're doing it right. No, 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 like no, 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 real quick. No, no, because I don't hate you. But no, also, yeah, that's but, where, that's where, no, is, no, one moment. That's where when we were talking. Mandy is the shit. Man. No. This is crazy. Yo, shut up. Like, See what I mean? No, but you. No, come, it's a great Mandy. Yeah. <laughs> like, you should try it. <laughs> 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 you really should. We, we might get through My a week without arguing. My is great. It Shout out great. to Sarita. She's <laughs> very expensive, though. Um, but you got it. You rich. Um, I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is I, Look, no. Oh, I, actually, I'll pay for that. Honestly, <laughs> and I love you saying that. I think I've, I've worked the last couple of years on working on myself, but being able to take my own sometimes feelings out of things, mm -hmm. like literally watching and seeing what you guys have been able to accomplish and do, I, I realize I, I, I don't hate y'all and I never really hated you. Did I hate that very, did I hate that moment? Did I hate the way you responded in certain things? Did I hate some of our conversations? Absolutely. But holding the grudge of actually hating either of you or certain people, no. So when yeah. I, so, but, so, but also nah, one, one moment, one moment, I never hated you. Uh, and to be fair, I also started hating the fact that... I'm like, she better look over no, me and say she ain't well, well, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. And this is crazy because y'all been seeing all the little podcast beef and behind the scenes going on. Let me share y'all a little bit what's happening with Horrible Decisions, right? But when Weezy would also reach out and be like, yo, there's something that I'd like to do to enhance our business. Alex is the best person to do this. Mm -hmm. Alex knows what he's doing. Oh, Alex wants... Feeling. Even, but aside from that, there's been other things where you wanted to bring him in and try the labs and there's, and I'm like, damn, outside of our discourse, you've also still put your relationship with Wheezy and how you want both of us to succeed mm -hmm. above our personal relationship. And so when I'm in therapy talking about different things, uh, I mean, across all of my relationships, I'm like, I don't have a reason to not actually reach out to this person and mend this relationship. Mm -hmm. And I think in Philly, though I'm using my hands and it may have looked aggressive, I really was like, there's an, a misunderstanding. This person doesn't wish ill on me. Never did. Never did. I don't think even for seeing y'all, okay, did I lack the miscommunication with both of y'all and what was happening? Sure. Did I ever want either of y'all to fail? No. And so I had to realize like, you're not my enemy. I don't hate you. I don't wish ill on you. Why can't we sit here and resolve this mm -hmm. to where it could benefit all of us, but also it didn't feel good walking into a room and not speaking to you when you're her business partner. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel good walking into a room, Weezy, and not speaking to you. And it actually made me feel worse. So, yes, in therapy, I'm like, why am I making God, this so dang. hard on myself, yeah, I gotta, honestly? Yeah, I got to give it up to me. <laughs> this is big. You're I don't know me. how big this is. Like, you're this reminding me of big. a book I read called The Game of Life. And it literally talks about how, like, we make shit harder for ourselves. For, for ourselves. And I hate not... There's a few people in life, like, I can't stand. And there's not many. Agreed. But I can remember those feelings when I was around them. And here she go, jacking off the mic. I don't... <laughs> sorry, you just no, love sorry. touching the but mic. But I don't feel like that about you, like, ever. Like, I'm not like, oh, my God, there's this moment where, like, I'm fucking fuming because I... Or if I have those um, arguments with you, maybe, but, like, at the end of the day, we made something great. So how can I live in this? Literally. And that shit really taught me like, oh, I just have to let go. I could look at Mandy in one moment. I could think of years ago and maybe I'd remember something that she did that made me mad or an argument and I would hold it. And it was like... I don't hold things anymore. Holding the shit is... For what? Bro, it literally makes you age. And it that's does. why... Real quick, that's why if you go back and look at the videos, we look way better now. 
than we did then, yeah, you can, including you, you. You can see the money it's on giving, y'all. No, I'm, I'm saying, no, I'm just saying, do do y'all looking like big money over uh-uh. here. Uh-uh. Like, I have let me hold a dollar Jordans or something. Like, what's up? A she and top. Oh, Calm yeah. down. And this a ro- is still and a Rolex and high and low. It's diamonds. giving high and low. Yeah. <laughs> high and low. <laughs> right. I see. Um. Anyways, I wanted to actually, uh, this episode, by the way, I will say is going to be centered towards the men. So I'm glad that you're able to join us on this. Wait, what made you want to come on Horrible? Uh, actually, he hit me. I've he, always wanted to. He about. told me even in Philly. Been, he was like, she, he was she like, now I got to come on the here. pod. Just so y'all know, me and Weezy book all of our own guests. We produce all of our own content. And today we did not have a guest. So it just made sense. Alex, here, here's your chance, there, nigga. There, there, there. Honestly, <laughs> I never thought this day would come. Yes, because the last time that I was working with you guys, you two were beefing. I was trying to resolve that. <laughs> Wait, should we talk about how we know I each other? I ended up getting fired. So I don't For know how that, that don't know. happened. <laughs> So, like, okay, I'll yeah. tell you my version. Your version is wrong. Everyone that you hired, I brought on board, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I was gonna no, say, no, no. Hold, I'm yeah. laughing because this you going to bring it up. you going to start. You start. You that started. was a jab. That was a light jab. No, it but it's that actually was. true, too. Her, her version is going to be different. No, I brought wasn't. you on board. I brought Wolf on board. But Wolf, I but there don't was, know. How did Wolf start it? Like, what we didn't, did we had a studio. Well, no, 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 no. I brought Wolf into the photo horrible. I brought Alex into the photo horrible. I and then you was... hired them. No, you didn't even meet her that day in the hallway at whatchamacallit. That was, nah, we were all having But a Wolf, combo you better remember, we had a, a studio and Wolf was the perfect person at that time. Like, right? Like, so it just made sense. Edin, not necessarily brought into horrible because he had a relationship with Alex already. Alex and Edin had been working together on Flagrant. So yeah, but let's horrible. be very clear. Shout I out brought, to Edin Ali. I, but also, Edin knows. I brought Edin into the mix to even be into loudspeaker. So Edin was a saying, photographer at Lehman College, f- photographed me for my graduation, and then I brought him into loudspeaker fold. Edin will say the same story. She got receipts, and then, yeah. and, I and, then got and then receipts, when Edin, yeah. I don't think, and, and then when and, Edin could not your make your relationship it, have to do with no. Alex's, but then when but, Edin okay. and it went, but then when Edin could not, then Edin became his backup with Flagrant. Yeah, when I went to jail. When he was, right, but they still had a relationship. Yeah, no, no, no. But Edin would not have been brought into loudspeaker had I not brought him in. So Wolf, Mandy, you would not have known Wolf. Right now. I met Wolf during All Star Weekend <laughs> when he was working with Mouse. I love seeing people really be hungry and work. He's agreeing. Edin would agree. Mm-hmm. I liked what he was doing and brought him in for us to have so video. The story I was going to tell. You're okay, welcome. was you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. I, the yeah. irony, and I literally <laughs> told this story last night <laughs> when the question was, "How did you meet Alex?" I said through Mandy. He hit up whether it was me or Mandy or the page or whatever. Mandy and him talked. He showed up at an episode of Horrible. He felt like we needed video. Mm-hmm. So. I mean, me and him just, and to be truthfully told, we're, we're born one day apart. He's on the 18th, I'm the 17th. We're not going to stars and moons this whole week. I think our personalities are one, like every time I think about when we argue, I'm like, this is the same reaction. Yeah. Which, like, yeah, and I hate it too, because I'm like, I'm the super things I get emotional upset and heightened. <laughs> He's super emotional and heightened. I hate you, I hate you! And then we have to both cry about how much we love each other later, and it's stupid. Yeah, it's really stupid. But anyway, so I was like, <laughs> so, so naturally, no, we became cooler than you guys were. Even though you brought up, of course, that just happened. Yeah, right? we started hanging out, whatever. So I don't build friendships with my employees, but yes, what's wrong with that? Uh, I like I I'm so complete. So so real quick, I have been scarred in that sense mm. from when I worked in the clubs. I thought someone was cooler than I did. We became in the club. What, what, no no. So so that was my background. When yeah, I was a bartender, bartender, I became really good friends. Like my supervisor, my boss came to my house. I went out to eat with with her and her partner. Mm -hmm. And when it came to her feeling like I didn't respect her power at work, I was let go. Uh, And so... Because it got too friendly. It it got too friendly. And so to me, that's been a, a thing. And again, it could be trauma. But there's been a real... Even seeing what's happening with Lizzo. I I be telling my staff, don't Lizzo me. We ain't got no HR. But when you become too close with someone, they don't know how to take direction or maybe um, cri- criticism the same way because now you've blended work and personal I get things. that, but so, I yes. think there's a way that you can still be respectful and still, hey, fix or course correct someone's I actions. Agree. That. I so, agree. And so it's like, I, I agree. Know, it's two ways to that. Like, I love being cool Vinny, with all this stuff. great working relationship. Oh, right? he's amazing. But also, I was going to say, with gig-type work, 
at that point in time, there's no real partnership I have with Alex, except he does the video. So to me, and I guess that's where we look different. That's where we're talking now on even expanding horrible, mm-hmm. right? Not commingling a horrible team with our studios teams. Like to me, I would love for people to be a part of the horrible decisions team that want us to grow, that bring ideas that feel like as y'all grow, I'm going to grow. As y'all grow, I'm going to get money. And I think right, that right. that became the conversation with Alex too. As we started getting money, and this is why, you know, there was jazz about how we didn't pay you. The conversation needs to be as we make more money, I would love for our team to make more money. So, And so I think that then, Alex, what were you getting paid and what did you want to get paid? Because the rate of video now is so funny and crazy. And y'all about to talk about this. This is about to be a Reddit thread, bitch. Yeah, we like, are. I don't want to... No, it we was very about, little. I don't want to feed it. No, 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 no. I want you to say the amount mainly because, and we'll think about the same shit too. Like, we, you're always thinking Mandy and I and Alex and I and like what people start off with and where they're at now. Like, nigga, you directed a Netflix special. You own production studios. Like, you got to think about how crazy that is. Even Mandy and I. Yeah. The money that we've taken for like things or we're spending on Because I think at the time you didn't even have ads yet. So no. It was, like, it was we didn't. And out of pocket, mind you, I'm in my last year of college. Mm. So I'm paying rent and Alex off of Sally Mae. <laughs> because I'm I'm interning yeah, at Goldman really Sachs, is. but she has a six figure job. But I'm still technically I had roommates. I lived in the Bronx, mm-hmm. and we're and as business partners with Fifty Fifty, and I think we split expenses. When Alex came in, because we didn't even know, like you know, we're spending money to do this podcast. We had Patreon, which was why we were like, okay, we could, but, but not um, a lot. I want to say it was fifty dollars, <laughs> yeah. right? Fifty dollars per episode. Yeah, and you wanted seven hundred seventy five or a hundred. I wanted a hundred. 100%. And mind you, hold on real quick. And, and, and let me go to where I'm corporate. I'm corporate. And Mandy so... Mandy love saying that. Because I was corporate. And and mind you, I'm at you Goldman. You have been working hold in on. this podcast more than you have corporate. No, 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 no. At the time, I'm, again, in college. Yeah. I'm making $20 an hour. Mm-hmm. So I'm still thinking on an hourly basis. So just, the idea of someone making $100... Mind you, our episodes are an hour. And everyone, the efficiency of how we fucking record, right? So in my mind, yeah, bitch, that's five hours of work to pay you. Like, so where my mind goes, that's where it was going. And I understood that. And I think now you get it more because you have more experience in production. Yes. You didn't know that. That, that hour you have to go is back. Just enough. It's, no, but no. <laughs> it's the DIT. Yeah. It's the editing after. Honestly, it's the editing. Yeah. The, the video so. camera setup is probably the worst thing I've seen when we do mobile recordings and shit. Like, Holy shit, because Alex and I did DJ drama all on site, even in Paris. Yep. That was the only time where you didn't really have to do too much. Like they hired another team, yeah. but you were helping everybody get their shit together and like renting our camp. Like, bro, that was crazy. So I remember when you asked for it and I was like, even me, I was like, damn, I don't want to pay this, but I know we have to because you explained to me it's the shit after. That's what editors do, right? I was like, all right, let me talk to Mandy. Mandy was like, oh, there's no talking. He already talked to me. He's fired. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yes, bitch. Not because you wanted more. It you was, got fired because of the flagrant the conversation. Time. Yeah, so no. not, yes, so not yes, only, yes, so yes, not yes, only yes. did you just make a joke about my weight loss surgery on a huge platform. Not only did Hold my on. co-host participate. Not make a only joke. did my co-host participate, you want me to pay you more? Fuck out of here. But my co-host made that joke. I didn't, I my, never joked about it. Cool. That. There was no shutdown of it and it went on for weeks. And I was terrorized. Let's no, be very clear. I said at the Let, end of the episode. No, let's be very clear. I was terrorized for weeks and it got brought up in proceeding weeks following. Mm. So not only do I feel on the outside mm-hmm. of both, like of, of, yeah, yeah, of yeah. someone that I've hired, but also my business partner. And it's literally something so <laughs> sensitive. Hold on. And I love that we're getting this out here so y'all can shut the fuck up. <laughs> not only did I view you as not really my friend, but someone that I'm paying and working with. Mm. Not only are you my business partner who at the time we had a very strained relationship. And so this being happened around something that has caused one of the biggest insecurities in my life in it being assumed that not only was I fucking you in exchange for video since we weren't really paying you, mm-hmm. it was assumed that you had fucked the pounds off of me. Mm. I just had weight loss surgery. And I didn't know that. I didn't. I swear to God, okay. I didn't know. So, so for that to be the joke, and then you also thinking that you should be paid more money where there was not an apology given to me till like a month later. That's not true. No. That's, 
I apologize. Y- no, y'all said after. it was a, no, no, the no, apology no, no, was that it was a joke. The apology was that I should be mad at Andrew mm-hmm. because Andrew made the joke. So there that, was that was the strangest part about your reaction, though. So my part was uh, Andrew holds no allegiance or loyalty to me. You work for me. You're my partner at the time. Mm-hmm. So to me, OK, but the fact that it wasn't nipped at the butt and that for weeks the audience came to me about those mm-hmm. things. That's really where it was. I didn't fire you because you wanted more money. I fired you because at the time, this relationship that was formed and the jokes that were made at my behalf, mm-hmm. if I'm going to put my dick on the table, that was my time. Yeah. Well, and I, I didn't feel, I, I didn't let, feel let like me, Let me it be was on, the other, on the other end. Can I just end start here? here where I, you know, you've gotten multiple apologies Since the, privately, yes. but publicly, yes. I want to let you know, like, I'm very sorry for that time. And, because and I, like one, we were all still early in the game and didn't really realize how a joke on a pod can really. And we didn't. And I, and I, I, like, that, I, I understand say, that now. Like, I understand that in now. In today's day and age, I would my same never thing. let that ride. Right. Yeah. But it's like in the moment we're like, oh, it's not that serious. And it's content, Everybody knows and where it's, it's being yeah, silly or it's, whatever yeah, the case is. Silly, but I'll say this. And I think I this, thought she was going to get it worse because her was, face when Andrew made that joke that you and I slept together, like Mandy her really, face was shocked. Mandy really thought. Remember, you were like that you believed the joke even. I did, but you didn't. You you didn't. You were like and I said, bitch. That nigga ain't even my type because everybody <laughs> was playing this prank on me, and they yeah. it felt real in that moment, Mandy. I know that you were saying like you were doing that for. I, I swear to God, if you saw my face, like, the idea though. With you and me, let's be very clear too, where we're at and where we've even talked about where we're seen in the industry, the idea that we have this sex pod. I never thought you fucked Alex for a video. I just thought maybe But the narrative that I was fucking him to counteract the fact that we weren't paying him a lot. No, 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 no. Made made me feel like we're we're fucking our way up. So that's that's a good point to bring up. My reaction was never Mandy's fucking for video. My reaction was, oh, is that how they know each other? That's what I might have thought. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, no. like it was never like, oh, we're getting a no, deal or something. Her reaction was, you fucking my friend and you ain't telling me about it. Because remember, That's we were hanging reaction. out all that time. That wasn't the reaction. Yes, it yes, was. It wait, was. wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. You're we fucking my co-host. No, 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 Because at the time, our relationship that was, was a reaction. This, all right. There's no, for the record, I still don't believe you and Alex. That we didn't fuck yet? I think y'all fucked. Cats don't do that. Bro. I'm positive. Why I don't do you think, think they fucked. I'm positive. All right. Because I know for a fact. I know for a fact they ain't fucked. I'm, you know? I'm sure they haven't, but like fact. I need to know why. I I can tell you why, Cass. Why? I'm gonna air you out, bro. I'm sorry. Right. Cause he fucked white girls. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nope. I'm sorry, I love you so much. I'm sorry. Nah, he fucked Mandy, bro. Why do you think? Really? You never know. 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 She tight. She tight. I knew she loved you. I knew she loved you, Alex. I knew she loved you. Yo, get that. Get that. Yo, this was literally shit. We were in our first year. You and I from episode six were shaky. So it wasn't that to me. I felt like okay. She's not my friend, but as a business partner, the idea or narrative that now we're fucking our way to loudspeaker, working with Charlemagne, that having part video. still never. Okay, we, so wait, we, let weren't, me, we weren't let me friends. Go back. So to me, I understood why you didn't feel the need to protect me in that. But the but for the notion to be that we were fucking our way it, to so in anything, my brain, it was never you, and that's probably where the disconnect. No, yeah. because yeah, no, there was a disconnect I really for sure. Was angry. I was like, how could he have been hanging out with me every fucking day and doing his recording and never told me? So to okay. me, it was never she fucked him for video. It was more he lied to me. Yeah. Now, fast forward. In a new world today, there's a few ways, and this might sound bad, but I can only remember how I felt at that time. I think, again, we're in a place where it's probably mm-hmm. the best we've had. Those days, I remember feeling angry about you a lot. And like, I don't want to say, even in the days where I, I'm angry at you now, I would never let that happen because we're business partners Mm -hmm. and because I respect our business acumen together. And that was within our first year. But that year, and honestly, that maturity level and that time frame, I felt no loyalty to you. And to be totally honest with you, I feel like the way that. that I am, I speak about you publicly now is actually way better than you've spoken about me, even in the last year, two years. And I don't care because to me, this is something that I've learned from that moment. So. I just, it's not, I'm never going to go on a podcast and be like, we're not friends, we're not friends, because 
the way that I feel about you is much deeper than a friendship. It's like, I've made millions of dollars with this person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the people that we've made money with, the places my life has gone, like the friendship conversation between Mandy and I is so old that like, it is. I can't even entertain it. Like this is, Mandy's a catapulted that in a way. Like, don't get me wrong. Vinny's my best friend. I'd probably die for him. So when I have this conversation with Vinny, it's super emotional. But at the same time, like, bro, I've taken care of my parents' life. And it really boils down to horrible. I was making money before, but like, this is different now. So in that era of like, money. it's oh, a, no, it, it's there. <laughs> if, if y'all thought, if y'all thought, yeah, it's, like not even, it's not even, it's not even like off. horribles <laughs> making the money. And maybe like, we both make money doing other things now. We do. I'm sitting in it. We're wearing it, whatever it is. Mm. It's just thinking about where it came from. Like to know that I, executive running a, p- a company for someone else, right? When I got that Kenya job, I don't care what anybody says. The day I met Kenya, he knew me from Horrible Decisions. He goes, oh my God, Horrible Decisions. Mm. What? You, that's a hire from this podcast, talking about dick sucking, whatever it might be, to an exec level. So no matter how people think this show makes us look, that's what it's done for my life. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have to think about the person I did it with. And there were moments, and I'm sure we've both done it to each other. Like, remember when we talked about not doing the show or doing it with one or the other, like, that's not a real thing. And even you told me in the moments where I couldn't Bitch, stand Charlemagne Mandy. Bitch, Charlamagne told us. I know. Said, Maybe we'll consider the younger generation taking the said, Bitch, this show don't exist without mm. the two of you. Mm. Charlamagne <laughs> told us. He said, okay. We was like, well, maybe we pass the baton. Yeah. Charlamagne was like, no, bitch. No, <laughs> the, um, the amount of times I talk her off the ledge of like, yeah. y'all blowing this whole shit. Even both of y'all. I mean, no, y'all... let's be very clear. Shout out to everyone that I've consulted with. And I could go down the list of all professionals. Yeah. They're like, and mind you, I've been like, you don't care about my mental health. And they're like, no, this is bigger than you. And yep. I think anytime me and her have sat together, when we finally got on tour this year after the pandemic, where we stopped meet and greet for so long, we both have really been able to sit with each other and be like, this is so much bigger than both of us. Mm-hmm. And to be able to see what y'all have actually done too, mm-hmm. to make her uncomfortable in a way that I'm, I am grateful for what we've been able to build. Again, it just didn't seem Bro, I slept worth so it good that night. It, it, didn't, it didn't seem worth it to, I for you and I to and be I at like, odds. Like, wow. I genuinely want everybody around us for Wolf to be working in this. When I met Wolf, I ain't going to tell you who he was working with, but they wasn't paying him. And I value Believe what that. Wolf can do. And so to me, it I've never been mad that Wolf had this position here. And so I've literally sat here and been like, I know all of us can win. I say this about all podcasters. I'm going to tell y'all what I'm getting paid because if y'all taking no money, I'm going to tell you, bitch, negotiate. Mm. Like, but honestly, we can all make to money. Be fair, Let's get the gang back. We can together. all make money. Let's get the gang back. Let's get the gang back. <laughs> the gang is back. Because I'm down. just saying, when, when I came, y'all went up 400% views and Listenership. Yeah, I don't know. If it was you. I, yeah, no, it I don't really, know about that number. Oh, really? Shout out really? to Andrew do, and Charlemagne do, and Brilliant do, Idiots. We. Oh, who, do you know who was advocating behind the scenes for weeks? Real and quick, weeks and weeks, shout out and, to weeks and weeks. Shout out to Chris Morrow who allowed it, but also A King knew about us episode three. Yes, but do you know who has because to be preach. in their ear? A King is loudspeaker. Brilliant Idiots is Alex. Yeah, weeks and weeks. Brilliant Idiots is Brilliant Idiots is Alex input. Okay. Yes, and then your view went up four hundred percent. I'm just saying, like it was all. I love 400%. You know. I don't know where you got those stats. Yo, I, can show I, you. I remember. I can show you. I can, <laughs> I show, you. I can show you. I really can. We were, we were right behind Joe Rogan that day. Anyways, guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. To, look, oh, I'm, wait, like, wait. I'm like, now that we got the let's podcast the beat out the way for together. our catch up, let's get into oh. our vanilla shit so we can actually have an episode about <laughs> sex. It's a weird moment in podcasting right now. No, with I'm not going to lie. the breakup. Oh. What's happening? Oh, I don't know. I told you. Hey, I done invited that nigga back on the, t- the team. <laughs> what? Uh, no, we love it. No, no I, just, love it. I love it. No, I'm just saying, like, you're sitting down do here. It. What, like, the reset. It's weird, bro. <laughs> no, just so y'all know, all the little podcast beef is funny to me. And I would just like for us not to thrive as a black community and tearing each other down. Bro, Mandy so had a moment. With I you, co- no, wait, don't do that. Yeah, it don't saying. start with me, baby. I she be, said, I be you just said I went to therapy. Shout I out. be uplifting <laughs> everybody. Keep it cute. No, no, but stop throwing shots because I think a lot no, no, of No, no, no. First off, let's be very clear. I put shots. names on the bullets when I when I shoot. But that, <laughs> I don't sub, stop. although I y'all be really confused. Right That's fine. You, but we can do it. We know what we talk about. But how about let's stop throwing bullets. Let's stop shooting them. 
Let's just stop. No, that. shoot, bitch. What's no, I'm from the south. We from Florida. You, <laughs> we from Florida. Shoot, we yeah. allowed to have you just said. Stand your ground, oh, bitch. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Who the fuck you mean? I, 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 I just know, said. I know in New York it don't matter. We have a license to carry, and baby, you so gonna I, I am really bitch. like not sure what's going on. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, but God. I will say this: uh, I called Alex after this moment, and this was when Mandy was saying she felt like being chill. Mandy had a moment where something clicked with her for her and I. Bitch, we were in first class flying one of these cities. By the way, hold on. It really started because, can I really sh- share with the audience? I don't know what you're about to say. You were the reason. Because where I didn't mind Weezy and I sitting separately, she would ask the agent, can me and her sit next to each other? Yeah. Because we have to. So I'll be honest, I, I like to sleep on flights. You wanted to talk and do business. So. This bitch, you your laptop I, I, I know, but this bitch was changing her seat every day, asking the people next to us in first class, hey, can we switch? That's my partner and we got to talk business. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have done that. Oh no. I was trying to sleep. And you're like, I want to sit next to you, Mandy. And I was like, I did because I feel like we needed to connect. Yes. And we connected. But no. So on this flight, <laughs> should we connect to <laughs> Mandy looked at me on this one flight after, I'm going to say the podcast name. It was B. Simone's podcast broke up for someone. Mm-hmm. She looked at her phone. She looked at me. Y'all know I love B. That's my homegirl. Love yeah, her. Yeah, but it was it was sad to see. And she looked at her phone and she said, Bitch, I ain't gonna hold you. We really made it through. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Rory and Ball. <laughs> Joe Buddy Podcast. Fuck it. It was an I am athlete. I am athlete. I started listening. She said, yeah. I mean, nigga, we really. And, and no, niggas be so like, mad we're not friends, but look at everyone else. None of them niggas friends, y'all. You see? You know what? We can't sit next to each other. Shout out to Brilliant Idiot. Cool. Shout out to Brilliant Idiot. Shout out to Flagrant. Oh, shit. Never mind. I was going to say. I was about to say, nigga, they, they, dropped oh, yeah, so, no, they, no. They, they dropped somebody yeah, on. Yeah. Shout out to the Say Less Brilliant Podcast Idiots. and Brilliant and everyone yeah. else. No, nigga. Niggas break up in this field. Say Less changed, too. It wasn't always rosy. It wasn't always rosy. So you're, you're right. right. We got to go. Niggas be. And guess. Guess what? We ain't never changed over here for seven years, whether y'all knew we was beefing or not. Oh, oh, wait, you didn't never change? <laughs> no. I, I remember a videographer who... Yeah, y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. We talking about on air time. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, that, honestly, when she said that, it was funny because she was like, we really still kicking it, bitch. And you were saying to me, like, what you've done, what I've done, and we've been able to... And I think something about that, though, and, like, maybe what you were saying to Alex, like, when you can have your own wave, in any kind of business, mm. it gives you an independence mm-hmm. that you need. Yep. Like, I think our most but then fights we've, was, al- we've also realized the grass ain't always green on the other side. Yep. We've also realized working in corporate is very hard because y'all... What grass you talking about? Well, no, I'm I'm working in corporate now and where I didn't understand why yeah, I was... I, I can't announce oh, it until okay, March. Okay, okay. But I'm working with someone I'll share with y'all outside of this. It's been way different. Like, and so we're also maybe, yes, you were working with Kenya, but I was like, I don't get it when we had to switch all of our schedules. I get it now. Oh, no, and dude, so there's like, bitch, it's, you know, it's crazy. Bro, but I'm on call for Kenya's pod right now for 45 days. Of, and y'all will know who I'm working with, but it's hard. And it's hard. So That's that, all I'm going to So that know. means come March, you guys are going to start arguing again. No, 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 no. Because you have so many schedule no, conflicts. We're doing, no, 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 we're doing what we can to like, but honestly, oh, Mandy. Hard. I can't wait for it. <laughs> we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk after this. Anyways, I did want to make sure we give you guys a very spicy what episode. Y'all getting some tea? No, y'all are getting a lot of tea. But I wanted to get into our vanilla shit real quick. Okay. Um, because real quick, this whole episode is for the men. That's why we have Alex here. We're talking about big dicks and little dicks. Pause. <laughs> well, because we're talking about you dicks with you. Pause. Yeah, but we're talking about dicks with you. Yeah, I have like, to say ooh, it, we brought Alex know. on to talk dick. It sounds a little crazy. That is. That, okay. It I, is. I it's just, it. No, it sounds. This so, is how I know certain friendships are like, because people are like, oh. I ain't going to hold you. I was sure you at least licked his gooch at one time. Everybody thinks. Everybody thinks. For sure. I think, they're, I think they're over now. But okay. the dude that have dated told me, your only male friend is Alex. The other ones are fucking. And then real quick, I, like, they, real quick, ah, real quick, they never saw her on ah. camera. <laughs> But your interaction, I actually thought you and her were fucking at one point. But that's my own personal take. <laughs> Literally the I most know. straight person ever. Yeah, but I, she doesn't come. Uh, sorry, this is no offense. You don't come across as straight. That's a I know. So, outfit? Uh, maybe she dresses pretty studdish. <laughs> I, I'm not going to hold you. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. I thought y'all had a thing at one point. Oh, what? I ain't going to hold you. Why? Because Wheezy likes everybody. But anyways... <laughs> 
<laughs> no, we're close. We lived together for a little bit. I know. So like, t- that, I, uh, bitch, no. But not close. That's you, crazy. But the way I never she spoke about you, my it was best good. friend. Now, I'm talking about when I first met her, they were not together. And <laughs> No, we were. Yeah, I just didn't know. So I didn't know. So maybe that's why she was so nice to her. It was given. <laughs> <laughs> where were we? Bitch, in L.A., that's where I met her first. Oh, shit. And just, the, so, at the studio. They didn't give her 19 keys. It was just, you were so kind to her, and it was given a love. <laughs> and you be gay. Yo, this is hilarious. <laughs> so, when, when, you, when, when you told me that they were together. Mandy, I'm so glad we, we're, we're, so we're at a, shocked. On a better talking relationship, because I wish you would have asked that question. When you I, telling me this whole time. He I did until y'all got together. Post, and you were like, oh yeah, what an engagement to- post. I just unblocked him in Philly. Calm down. <laughs> oh, that was, yo, that was hilarious. In front of him, yo, I unblocked what do you him. Mean? So, <laughs> so we're now Kumbaya, we're friends now. She's like, damn, how many places I got you blocked? She had to go through it. Instagram, and I unblocked text him message, in front of him. TikTok, like every single TikTok. app. Bitch, you know, I blocked every, him everywhere. Every single app. You're, had, you're a blocker like that? Bro, am I? She had me blocked block, everywhere. Block, Twitter, block, block. everything. You think I'm just shooting shots? Bitch, I'm blocked, 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 blocked. <laughs> I don't really... So it took like five minutes for her to fully unblock me. Bro, Be- it's so funny because I sent him a horrible <laughs> thing once where I Mandy did. was collaborating on. He's like... Screen recording because Mandy blocked me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's everywhere. Bitch, I block people. Anyways, but that was shit. <laughs> Brazilian woman is arrested for chopping off husband's penis and flushing it down the toilet for sleeping with 15-year-old niece. The, unidentif- oh. the unidentified woman allegedly lured her husband, who was 39 years old, into bed where she bound his wrists and ankles before pulling out a razor and dismembering him, according to Daily Mail. Hmm. After severing the appendage, she allegedly took a photo of it and then flushed it down the toilet. Hmm. The woman went to the police station afterwards with her brother and turned herself in. Good morning, officer. I came to introduce myself because I cut off my husband's penis, she allegedly told the officers. (laughs) She told police that she heard it was possible to reattach it. She said, bitch, you could get it back on if you if you need to. Her husband was taken to the hospital and his condition is currently unknown. But police are investigating her claims that he was actually sleeping with an, a minor. The age of consent in Brazil, by the way, is 14 years old. Whoa. The, no shit. What the fuck? I know. That's why this is interesting. Oh, the unidentified okay. woman allegedly lured her husband into the bed where she bound his wrists and ankles before pulling out a razor and using it to dismember him. The woman went to the police, not to being re- repeated. Anyways, she's 28. She attacked him and he was preparing to take a shower. She literally then rushed to the recep- to the receptionist to ask for medical assistance after she dismembered him. Um, I will say, good for her for seeing is like, okay, you can get your dick back on, but I'm going to cut it off because you did some bullshit. Secondly, I, re- I recently just had this conversation not only about the Gypsy Rose situation and all of that, you and I, and I don't know if it was Patreon or a regular episode. Yeah, cut we talk, Well, no, no. We talked about the conversation about the girl who was, the, the woman in D.C. was running oh, a... Oh, her daycare. Uh, the daycare. And remember her husband... As a black lady did you and remember, husband was molesting so, the kids at daycare and she shot him? She shot him. Oh, she I actually, this, over, over, over the break, yeah, that's great. got convicted for jail time. Okay. And so... How much? I can look that up. I just wanted to pose the question. Biden needs to pardon him. Oh. Let her free. Of justice. And I say that because when we talk about where we should stop listening to R. Kelly and mm-hmm. we're seeing what's happening with the Epstein list and we're seeing what happened with R- Harvey Weinstein and we had the conversations about the Me Too movement, what we really see justice as. Is it going to jail, serving four your time? years? She got four years for it. There mm-hmm. we go. Thank you for researching. And it says she won't apologize. Uh, duh. Duh. He was confirmed fucking with them kids. Mm-hmm. Literally. That's great. And so she's she's now uh, serving four years for shooting her husband, mm-hmm. who she found out was molesting these children. Yeah. I kind of wanted to talk she to you guys. I wanted to talk to you guys both real quick. And this is real quick because I want to get into the hors d'oeuvre and the horrible decision about what you deem justice to be. In terms of someone who violates someone sexually, physically, um, in today's day and age. Because so to be this, honest with, yeah. with you, your name being added to a sexual offender list, 
you doing maybe two years and then getting out. Yeah, don't point at me when you say that. I know you're giving an example, but that was crazy. No, 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 I wasn't pointing. No, 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 I wasn't pointing. Bitch, I'm talking with my hands again. The, the what, conver- you Latina or something? The, no, you the, said your name being added. I know. No, that, was, my bad. Bad. that was crazy. No, sorry. If you're watching on YouTube, his name is nowhere. Um, <laughs> Kenneth Teddy? No. Oh my, my question is, I would love to know in 2024 what we deem is actual justice for someone who has committed a sexual assault, a sexual crime, and if you differ that from adulthood with children. This is going to be a little controversial. I want you. That's why I asked the question. I think because I got the same answer. Because. Behead them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, nah. and, and kick it like a softball on the beach. So when you first started tell, uh, telling the story and you said um, the niece was 15, I was like, good for her. But then if the legal age is 14 then, oh. she really only cut his dick off because he cheated. <gasps> oh, that's real he spicy. Did, take. She didn't cut his dick off for sleeping with a kid. To, to be fair, to be fair. According to Brazilian law. To, to be fair, according to Brazilian law, yeah. when I read that, and that's why I made sure to read that, the the age of consent is different in Brazil than here. So you feel like it's not because you a nasty, pedophilic-ass nigga yeah. who fucked a minor, it's that you cheated. Yeah, technically. Mm. Okay, I Technic- didn't know okay. you were talking about justice in this moment. No, well, oh, well, in totality. well, well justice in this and then in totality. We could do both. So I'm going to say totality. I've been reading things like I read the thing about the guy in the mall that was babysitting kids and taking them into bathrooms for other men to sleep with them. So what news y'all be on? No, we it's niggas say shit. But also, well, no, like, but also sex. Um, we be looking at up. No. I think sex in the news. Sex in the news pops up stuff like vanilla this. shit. Okay. This is where we know about all this weird Gosh, shit. Okay. I know that it's hard to do this because for me, I feel like I never really believed in the death sentence until it comes to babies and kids. Same. But then I'm like, no. What about I'm like, what about black people are niggas. constantly wrongfully accused? Oh, so it's like, what if this is just a gateway into like saying you got to kill all these people in jail? Like which, which. And again, me being in the in the mix, I don't know if you guys know of the rapper whose baby mom accused him of That's sodomizing the son. It came out that as she admitted that she said that. Because she wanted him wow. to be criminalized, so nah, you gotta give her so it's recently time, been that she owes him. Time. Damn, it's um, that's crazy. And so I agree with you, you where if bitch. you know that there is this sort of punishment attached to something, the fact that you're able to lie and possibly there's no way to, and, and we say this even about unfortunately, trigger warning, rape victims. Mm-hmm. How do you prove it, right? And so to know that, yes, if we put the t- sort of this punishment, trigger warning, no, trigger this can all be trigger warning, but the idea of what justice looks like and punishment looks like when also it's hard to prove certain things, mm-hmm. the fact that she came out and was like, and admitted that she coerced her son into lying on this, or that was one of the craziest things. And I want to get the name out. Uh, one wow. moment. Go ahead. Uh, rapper, go ahead and keep talking because I want to make sure. Oh, no, I was just going to say, if anyone that hasn't seen it, basically it was something that was happening on Instagram and she was alleging that this thing happened. And to be honest, when we see a little kid and we see a woman, it FTM pulls up Bay. Mm-hmm. Duty Low and FTM Bay, by the way, he has won an $11 million child sex abuse lawsuit against well, his ex girlfriend She ain't got that money. She ain't got that money. I get it. Go but, to jail, ho. But that's where I am very into, um, what is it called? Witchcraft. Equal, no, not witchcraft. Bitch, I just, witchcraft. <laughs> Where did that go? I don't know. I just saw her hand. If <laughs> anybody is from you. Thank you. <laughs> no, anyways, so. I believe that if, if women lie and people falsely accuse someone to get in that, them niggas need to be locked up and beheaded, bitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know about the beheading. So okay, I'm sorry. against the death Look penalty at- in all situations. I think it's a worse um, to live penalty on. to live Ooh. your life in jail as a convicted pedophile rapist or whatever. That's so worse here's my than thing. ending. So here's my no, thing. But they, no, they, they I keep believe they safe. need to die. No, they, Them niggas no, get they fed. Do. They have health care. They got a roof over their head. They get to go to the yard and play basketball. As a person, they get to, no, as a person who's been to jail and I was in Nigga, the you was most, in another country. Ex, and I was in the, like, the easiest jail that I could be in, it was still miserable. As Not a person that has freedom. also been to jail? As a person Yo, who has yeah, been in like a cell for seven hours? Yeah, I do no, three. I ain't do no real time. I did 28 Nigga, they fed me days. chips. And also. <laughs> no, you didn't go to jail. Though. No, I was in the holding cell. Yes, both of y'all were. Y'all no, didn't go I to wasn't. jail. I was no, she went to jail. 
She was there for a weekend. Really? Because it was a holiday <laughs> weekend. It was MLK weekend, just like it is right now. <laughs> Oh, this is the anniversary. Listen, I was walking around a little <laughs> Coretta basketball court, and that shit was crazy. I gave all the girls my food. I was like, I'm not going to be here. See, you need oh, it. my God. I hate you. You should. You needed a Coretta. No, that's what Jonathan Bro, I just I said. Remember, okay, I remember. I really Coretta. think I went to jail on the Molly because I wasn't drunk, but when I got pulled over, I just couldn't get it together. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember you was I was nervous. Still, I was still high on the Molly like, while they were like making me cough and everything. And I, like, really slept that shit off. And Wait, they make women cough, too? They didn't make me cough. Because you I were in only... a holding cell, Mandy. Oh, they didn't make oh, me cough. Oh, they gave you a full, like, strip search and all yeah, that? I was in jail! They thought you were holding something in your pussy or asshole? That. That's crazy. I already swallowed it, so... what Did, did you have anything in your asshole? No. Oh, wait, I forgot. I you working. beat niggas up. Yes, but I was oh, working. Oh, yeah. That's why niggas ain't on podcast anymore, for beating niggas up. So, so anyways, what, 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 how are you doing what I do? I just said what I do. I love him. But he beat niggas up. All right, I so... Mean, oh, no, this is what's in Mandy's cup right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy just want to give us a fun. By the way, <laughs> here are horrible decisions. Y'all think we hate each other over here? It's just a misunderstanding. Oh, no, wait. There's I no don't think you beat assignment. anybody up. I mean, there was... No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. His family was upset. He no, wait, no, no, no. What do you mean? Y'all beat each other up? Still to this day, you argue about who won that fight. Bro, we Bro, need we to do a charity 15. match. I'm just saying. We need really a charity did... match. Wait. <laughs> that's oh, that's because you I'm keep down. saying that you won, and she kind of thinks she won. And I loved y'all both versions of it because it's so different. Honestly, <laughs> if Mandy and I had like a really hot, sexy Jello thing, that'd be cute. But then Jello, if, that's what they do, don't they? Go to go to order. Okay, <laughs> order. Uh, this is where. By the way, we love everyone in podcast land. So no, we sorry. Don't. <laughs> oh, I love the people Ed and, and Rory and Mall. I love them. Can Not everybody. Stop, You're right. Stop, stop, stop. Sorry. Peace. Cool no, God. fuck that. Y'all want Peace. something to talk about on Reddit some, with y'all miserable like, asses? We gonna give you something to talk about. Like, man, it's like we all love everybody. No, no I love, oh, I love poor minds. Wait, why? I know poor I'm saying I'm thinking of people I love. Poor minds, like, poor but minds. there's some bitches okay. that can choke. <sighs> Keep going. Peace and love, people. Peace and love. I'm listen. Peace and love. Okay, honestly, Peace I don't love. have anybody in my mind. I just want to be there. That's all I'm saying. I'm cool with everybody. Shout out to Mandy. Started talking about Florida and shots. I want to take them too. You know. We have a license to carry over here. Bow! You know what? That's what real, like, red pill podcast niggas do. They get bored and they talk shit about other people. We oh, should yes. do it. No, you shouldn't. You know what you should do? Everybody should get along and hop on each other's podcasts. Not a problem, man. And pick each other up no, like no, a lot of these white no. LA podcasts do. And they all rise to the top because so everybody's quick, hopping on each other. Way, wait, let me start some fake podcast beat. Matter of fact, I'm going to take about my poured minds or amazing comment. You bitches are wearing braids. <laughs> I've had braids. <laughs> <laughs> We love Lex and Dre. My God. No! And you know what? I got my titties done first. <laughs> <laughs> look at this fake ass bitch. I know. <laughs> He's look not even thing. believing. Anyways, look, we ain't shit. Alex is like, shut the fuck up. No, I like uh, We're going to give you a hard drink. What? For you, sweating. No, that's what I was going to say. You get it in your hands? No, here, but for sweating. Oh, please. I swear to God, it's for sweating. Look, I can still frown. I don't know how to frown, but. No, no, Wait, no, what do you guys frown. If you can't, Botox. there's a way oh, to get you Botox, got Botox to not. No, I have it. Yes, you did. I'm, I'm, I've never had All right, this. Look, look shocked. No, no. Her shit wrinkled. What? It's a little bit, but she don't got the. the I ain't going to. I think she lying too. I think she lied. I think she lied. I know. Why? So she be lying. She be I lying. talked about the Yo. lips. She just put that she was monogamous on a dating app. Bro, no, I'm lying. The amount of, <laughs> I have never done can, this. Can, she put that she was straight on a dating app. We can I'm not saying I'm never not going to do it. Okay. I'm right on the cusp. Mandy. You know the amount of bonding we could do by just complaining about all the shit she the does? Lies. Bro, the it's lies. crazy. It's just because I don't tell y'all my business. Oh, <laughs> so she, that's what she said. She said it's just a white lie. But on the same time, on the same time, let's get I into really, our really hors d'oeuvre, our hors d'oeuvre, yeah. which I would love for you to add to. Um, we are now talking about men this episode. So here is an article from menshealth.com. And this is for men. The hors d'oeuvre is for y'all this week. Six things. You should have bedside in your quote unquote sex drawer. Okay. So it could be your nightstand. It could be in arm's reach. Wait, let me guess. Okay. Is for men, name six. This is for men what they should have in their sex drawer. Does it Condoms? matter if you're single or relationship? Changes. Calm down. Condoms Nigga, number semantics. one. Okay. Right. Then lube. Just, just condoms. Okay. Cock ring. Okay. Wait, lube, cock ring, condoms. I would say a massage oil or something like that. Okay. Wipes. Okay. 
and a sex toy. Okay, so you were really close, actually. Do you agree with that list? Sure. Okay. <laughs> this whore. So let's go back. So by the way, you are now in a relationship, but let's go back to, generally speaking, okay. when you had yeah, a, yeah. many ladies yeah. of the night. Um, Damn, of one night? I mean, many ladies of many nights. Oh, many ladies <laughs> of the night, yeah. yes. Um, so the first one where you said condoms, it is actually a variety of condoms. Which is condoms? Sure, you want condoms, but you should have a variety. Why? Whether it's size, because let's be very clear. Okay. Some women, like me, I don't like the smell of the gold wrapper. So you having oh, yeah, the option no. of skin would be really nice. You having maybe a lambskin option, because maybe I'm lying and saying that I'm allergic to, to this so that you can fuck me raw. You need to have a variety. Okay? And I'm speaking for my friends who want to... Your I friends know, do that? Bitch. To get raw day? Do you know, this is why I don't you, blame the men anymore. You don't have to lie to There are so today. many, I know, but there are so many women, <laughs> maybe from the ball who, to, who to make their minds make sense of it all, say that they're allergic to latex condoms. Uh, By the way, I want to say this to women that are listening. I almost want to clip this. Yep. You need to start asking the men you're having raw sex with if they're having raw sex with other people. They are. They're going to lie. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. You know that <laughs> I talked to you about this. Uh, and I'm they, like, yo, are they going to tell the truth? <laughs> no. 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 Just but you literally sex. told me like, yo, bitches don't ask that. They don't. Then I talked to one of my other homeboys. He's like, bitches don't ask me that. And he was like, I literally am fucking five girls raw right now. These bitches are not asking me. And that's her friend? Oh. Okay. She's trash. Okay. But I'll, he's my associate. But anyway, <laughs> the, point, <laughs> the point is, uh, what I'm saying, like on some real shit, for some reason, we just assume niggas aren't fucking other bitches raw. They are. Awful advice. You have a real Fuck conversation. Fuck these niggas with a condom unless they are your partner. There's no how many other women are you fucking raw because they're saying the same thing. At the end of the day, bring your own condoms. And if you are allergic to latex women, bring your lambskin condoms. Well, there needs that's, to be- not, that's not realistic. Fuck only a guy no. raw if he's your partner. No, 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 no. Yes, that's realistic with me. I just... Was fucking a nigga for nine well, years and we never for a fucked lot of wrong. Women listening to this podcast, but that's where I'm so, saying y'all are nutty and delulu. Don't and, say that. Stop. No, I stop, am. Stop. You was fucking for nine years. You're like years and, and never, never fucked wrong. wrong. I'm not. I'm not shaming anyone. That. I'm saying it's irresponsible, <laughs> and we have to stop putting it on the men. People can is, have healthy, sexual, and responsible relationships with people they are not in a serious so relationship then, so with. So then the conversation needs to be as well. Let's get tested together. How often are you, you getting see tested? How white people are making fucking videos all the time. I'm, I'm just literally thinking, oh, this is fucked up. Lola Jean is one, right? We had her on the podcast. Shout out to Lola Jean. But like, they're con like constantly having these like, here's how I talk to my partner. Here's the dialogue I use. Da, 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 da. These people, especially in the lifestyle community, are really having healthy conversations about sexual health. So I'm just saying, I don't want anyone to think that like, just because someone's not your partner, you could literally be fucking someone that can be a good person and honest about their sexual health. Mm -hmm. Most men aren't. However, there are good ones. So I don't want to like... So you believing, hopefully that this person is a good person. Let's be very clear. Both of our exes were good people in the beginning and we're lying. Most people that we meet show up as their representatives and you find out the truth later. So then my we had a boyfriend is, that cheated on us. No, so now so, so, your boyfriend no, that's so, a partner. Is no, gonna... so my point is, if you want to protect yourself, I don't believe in just going by word of mouth of a person. So, so if why you does want, them being your partner make it better? So, but, no, because now you've created the boundaries. Yeah. You've created a relationship. And let's be very clear. Most people are not like us. But we're not monogamous. When people, when most people that listen to us get into a relationship, they assume that their partner is not fucking Honestly, other people. Honestly, gay men have the best dialogue surrounding I sexual health. Right. And we need to learn from them. But so do sex workers. And so when I'm saying that I don't believe that straight monogamous women should just take the word of a man that they're not exclusive with. It's not just taking a word, though. You have a serious conversation about your sexual health with someone. Like, we can't just shut down every single person. They don't person. be... Niggas be lying. They be... Okay. Like, <laughs> And they you. do. Like, you gotta stop with that bullshit. Like, like it's even if good. niggas lie, fine. You need to be having... Did you see paperwork? Okay, that's my thing. My thing I'm trying to say. Like, you need to have real conversation about are we gonna get tested together on the same time so that we know these are our results starting here. Like, there's real things you can do to be comfortable within your sexuality. So you sound like the Lola jeans and the lifestyle people. Those conversations are easy. I want to make it very clear. Those conversations are a bit harder with straight, hetero, cis, 
individuals. It just is. Let's be very clear. We've talked about how niggas will come in here and be like, you good? I'm good. They don't believe in getting tested because they believe if their partners don't have anything, they don't have anything. So when we talk about, yes, gay men and sex workers and sex educators have the most fluid conversations about this, Majority of our audience does not. Yeah, you I that's, the, and that's I the reality. On your last episode, where you spoke about the foursome, the other couple was just even like, though the guys like good? y'all stay, right? Y'all stay. And like, obviously, we protected ourselves. Like, I'm not saying that like it, there wasn't that going on. I'm just saying like I want people to understand. Don't think like you can't have these this dialogue. We should normalize this. You should be talking to the I'm hetero. Not, men I'm you're not disagreeing with. with that. And if you get to a place where you're becoming each other's regular sexual partner, it's not that crazy to start talking about. Even beyond condoms, condoms break. You should be talking about, hey, this is the family planning idea I have for my life. It's just condoms or it's birth control or I do this. Or since we're fucking so much, what are ideas if a mistake happens? This is just this is just where when and this is and it's fine. I do not choose or plan to or have done. And again, with someone who I fucked for nine years, eight years, seven years. I don't believe in having unprotected sex with someone that is not my partner. And I don't believe in having unprotected sex with someone who we have not had those conversations with. And I believe that most people, a lot of people, even who listen to this podcast, are cool with unprotected sex. And I'm just saying, I I am not. And I'm just saying that I am not. And so it's not on me to be like, you good, we good. I believe there needs to be a way deeper conversation. And again, I'm, those I, conversations are had, saying though. the same thing. I, so we're not. No, you are, you are, you are. Yes, we are. are. I'm okay. not saying to a nigga, are you good? I'm good. When I'm talking about people having real healthy conversations, I I'm want... I'm just also not fucking someone that yeah, you're just ain't more, in a relationship you're just more with me. Skeptical. If we're um, having casual sex, yeah. so if you are not my partner, we not fucking wrong. I will tell That's you it. this then. The reason I guess I'm saying the partner thing feels like bullshit, I know two people in my life that have recently contracted STDs with partners they've had for longer than two years. What? And so, to me, in that case, we're never safe. So we're I, no, we're, there's no way to And so that's to why be safe. I don't I think the partner shit oh, is like, wow. I don't want boyfriend to be the thing that, or girlfriend to be the thing that makes all of us feel like we're good. But like, that goes back to the thing that you said in the very beginning. You just trusting a person's word. Again, those people were in wait, relationships. Wait, I know. And those, but those people were in relationships. I'm talking about your friends now. Those people were in relationships and that person went against their boundaries. Oh, yeah. I don't, you see it? I was trying to get it off. Nigga, it's fine. Oh, I don't wipe. Y'all, this is what happens when I don't drink with a straw. L- I'm childish. Nah, you good now. You good now. Real quick, I'm going to go down the rest of this list just so that y'all know. Altoids is another part, uh, is another thing to make sure you have oh. fresh breath. So having okay. Altoids next to the bed could work. Mm-hmm. Lubrication, you said it. Y'all niggas better have lube because sometimes y'all be ready to fuck and we're not ready. This one I disagree with. Okay. Uh, but blowjob spray? That's dumb. What is that? They say that... Um, to relax the throat. To relax the throat. That a man should have that. To, I don't like it. I don't like that either. I you like are also... It does weird shit to the dick. You were no, right I with like number... That. With the next one. Baby wipes and or a towel. Always had that. Absolutely. And, so and then the last one. A little kink. So having some sort of toys, bondage, something to enhance the experience. It's like I have a podcast about <laughs> sex. So the and only one, niggas, the only, condoms. the only one that you didn't have on there was the blowjob spray, and I agree you shouldn't. Is there anything on this list as a man before we get into our horrible decision? Real quick, is there anything on this list that you don't think should be on the bed, or that you think they left out? Um, I don't feel the need for a toy because most women have them themselves. Okay. I, you, you and like, I don't think a man is... I think it like, was... Like not a penetrator, yeah. But like, that's nasty. I'm cool but with like handcuffs. Like, no, like I'm cool with hand... some shit. Oh, no, no, no. handcuffs. Handcuffs, oh, okay, okay, okay. there could be something that is for you. Chain like, with... I, I agree with Wheezy. Okay. If a nigga pulls out just a dildo that he want to yeah, stick inside that, me. To me, that's wild. That's how many nasty. other bitches you use this for? That's what I'm saying. And then even if you want to be like, put a condom on it, I'm going to be like, oh, you really do this? Yeah. So, but I'm like cool. It. I'm cool with like a blindfold or handcuffs yeah. or like some sort of uh, bondage thing that isn't inserted. Okay. Like, we don't have to just go straight so to I the had dildos. Three out of the five. Mm-hmm. Okay. You had three of the five. Yeah. Like, I had three of the five. Like, you uh, had the three of the five. The condoms, wipes. The wipes. Hold on, wait, wait, I guess. No, the toys. 
Ew. Ew. You freaky. Well, something. You so nasty. I'm disgusted. <laughs> disgusted. Really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you just had a foursome with two <gasps> white women. Like, wow. that's crazy. Wait, men ugly too. <laughs> I know. Men, men ugly, ugly white, white women. women. That's crazy, bro. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. It is a little crazy. Can put me behind the camera. All right. So, y'all, for our horrible decision, we are going. What happened? It's fine. We had an hour, bitch. They gonna get an hour and fifteen. We not gonna really do home think, mail. You really think this episode was gonna be an hour? That's what well, I'm saying. I'm surprised we even keep into the fucking structure. You know, shit. baby, because if anything, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep an outline. Listen, so where it we're might not, take long with that tequila, but <laughs> so where we're baby, you know the tequila done drop down. That's why I need a motherfucking straw. I like to slurp, baby. I don't like to. <laughs> so you, have you ever been swallowed, <laughs> <laughs> bro? Chris Brown doing that shit. I ain't gonna hold you, and I can't stand him. But I ain't gonna hold you. I know. Hilarious. I know it was a lie, but I told him a power bottom. Shout out to TD Jakes. Um. Anyways, let's oh get into did our whole fucking. Uh, I know it was a lie. Did you see when I was on charades with Danny? Shout out to Danny Sellers at WCFLA. Mm -hmm. So I invited a bunch of people that were like lonely for Christmas over. We're playing charades, and the word that pops up is publicist. <laughs> and someone's <laughs> TD Jakes need this right now, and he goes, uh. Back shot. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, it's Christmas. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but two things can be true. Yep. Yep. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Are you, you really think he's getting fucked? No. I don't. No, 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 no. I think that it was It came out that, that this lie. woman made this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went in. It was fun, though. I'm not going to lie. And this is why you are held to the court of public opinion. Not really the court. Um, anyways, I wanted to get into <laughs> I wanted to get into our horrible decision. We won't make it to home mail this week, but y'all are gonna get a good 10, 15 minutes of us praising little dicks real quick. Mm. So the horrible decision is running from the D. I wanted to have the conversation if a dick can be too big, as well as maybe share conversations about how to get about a big dick, how to have fun with a little dick, how to also just let everyone know that it's the man's fault if it's not enjoyable. Well, I'll, let, so, I'll let you guys lead and I, control I actually this made this, So I made this as a topic because um, the 22-year-old that I was entertaining, the last time we had sex, I spent the first round just feeling like I had to take it because I didn't want to be no bitch. And I really had to think How about... It's, it's, it's big. It's long. Here. And it, it's... There we go. It's the microphone. Really? Inside of me. It was so big. And so literally the whole time I'm having sex, his whole dick was in you? First off, yes. Put it in me. I want to take it up. And my dumb ass. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I'm speaking, but in my mind, I'm like, bitch, you can't be no hoe with this. Oh, it hurt. Like, it, it hurt. <laughs> The shit hurt. What did you say? Oh, yes, give it to me. Ooh, can't nobody take all this dick, can they? You like, I'll take all that dick? And I'm arguing with myself like, bitch, you can't really take this dick. This shit hurt. It's painful. <laughs> but bitch, you can't be no hoe. So, well, well, <laughs> I realize this isn't the type of sex I really enjoy. It's a stroke. So, I wanted to it's play a clip. I wanted to play a clip. Um, because where his dick is big and a very great length. Um, it it's never our fault. Him? We're going to play this clip. This is a clip that has gone viral. Shout out to everyone oh. who has sent it in for us to discuss. But this is what was said. And I'm just going to play it. We'll insert uh, the audio later. So this is a lot of you guys are delusional. You can't take this. You be running from the dick. She be running from the dick. <laughs> Women don't run from dick. We can literally, you know, shoot out in a nine pound, one ounce infant. Okay, we are not running from it. We're running from bad stroke. Okay, I am about to tell the truth and shame the dick devil. Okay, <laughs> women run from bad stroke, not big dick. What's a bad stroke? That ground and pound y'all do like y'all in MMA. Okay, that fucking ground and pound. I've seen women like that where in porn. Okay. Ooh. Women are built inside. We have so many erogenous zones and G spots. It's really this thing here. Like it looks great on camera. Uh huh. It looks great in porn. It doesn't feel so good after a while. A lot of so that's a really good clip. I think it was a great clip. Oh, what's the podcast? I'll shout them out. While you're looking that up, I blame women. Honey, Why do you the six posted it. I blame that's, women that's... because men learn sex 
initially. Sorry, this is from one moment. Are. Sisterhood Sips. And okay. it's spelled sis, like hetero sis. Sisterhood Sips. That's the podcast. So Women we, do what? We learn sex initially from porn. Of course. And then we don't have that part y'all have. So you have to instruct us on how to please that part. If women aren't verbal, and a lot of times y'all not, y'all just, a lot most of, times of the times you're it's just you're right. quiet starfish. So it's like, we are just going to do what we see. Mm. So unless most women, women are quiet, most women no, are most quiet. Women do not. Most women yes. are quiet. Can you confirm that? <laughs> There's most another man in the room? Outside of, outside of moaning and shit like that. I don't know if you act. Most women are quiet. See? What? Yes. Like most women don't tell you what they like. There's, there's, there's a lot of women that don't even know we what they like. We talked about that. Uh, hold on, hold on. We've talked about this. Well, I'm not talking about instructional. Can I Can I be very honest with you, Weezy? I'm talking about the moan. Like no, 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 body no. language. Hold on, hold on. Not instructionally telling what you what they like, but you're not even seeing someone telling you they they're that it's or like like it more they're just quiet we just had this hold on, person say hold on oh i can take the dick i can take the dick while she's I'm lying not like and it. i'm not like how I, the I fuck was, is he supposed to know what the I fuck to do i was actually about to say let's be very clear <laughs> come on y'all i have not had a conversation with him that round one is normally not enjoyable for me round two my pussy open the walls is released Round two is the way more. Is released. The, the round two with him is way more enjoyable. But I've literally considered like, damn, round one is not as enjoyable because it's so big. Is he doing enough foreplay? And, but she's encouraging no, I mean, him at oh, the same girl, time. I'm sucking his dick. I'm fingering myself. We kissing. There's enough to where I'm wet by the time. And mind you, we normally start in the living room. Then I'm like, let's go to the bedroom. We have a routine now. And I, to be very clear, like Alex said, I have not let him know that round one is. Not yes. that enjoyable. So how the me. fuck are we supposed to know and how I have to a get better? Sex at? So how is he supposed to do it? Because by round two, it's good. But now I'm just considered that he needs to fuck you with a half dick on the first round. <sighs> oh, so for so men, we got we can control when we got half dick or full dick. Yeah. No, we cannot no. control. Half I'm not gonna dick lie. Oh, you're no, talking about not hardness. Oh, no, I it's not hardness. half stroke. It's, oh, okay. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know how I would even voice that to him. Like, let's be very clear. And if y'all listen to Patreon, I literally told him. We started, he sent me shit on Snapchat. It looked away, and in person, it was much bigger. And I said, don't send your dick on Snapchat no more. That thing is big. It's dangerous. And I... Man, I, I'm really I, having, I'm, like, BDD. But like, I'm also, like, a size right queen. Now. You called someone BDD. You called someone hospital dick. We have dealt with big dicks, and to be very clear, while it was great, I'm realizing a dick may be too big to enjoy. And... Maybe I'm getting older. I don't know. But I did work real quick. You know what? Shout out to B Condoms before we get into it. Hold on. I have to say this before we get okay. into the small part. I realize my oh, I size queenness is vanity. I don't want the whole big dick in me. I just want to look at it. I want to know it's there. I want to know once I push this baby out, you can fill up the hole that once was. I want to know if there needs to be four hands on it. We could do it. So but no. do I want to be on top of you taking the entire penis? No. And that's why I fuck on my feet. So I'm not going to lie. I still would like a big dick because I've tried to go the smaller route. And niggas was fucking my thighs when they thought they were still in my pussy. When my thighs get wet, not I don't know small. where the fuck they at. Nah, that's what I'm saying. I actually still want a big dick. But a medium dick is, is marryable. So real quick, big dicks are overrated. This is an unpopular opinion. But B Condoms posted this real quick. A big dick does not mean better sex. A smaller dick does not mean bad sex. Oftentimes, big dicks, again, cause pain, soreness, discomfort, and gagging during sex. Besides, penis size does not matter to female pleasure. Agreed with that. And no matter how long or thick a penis is, most women would never be able to orgasm through penetration alone. Clitoral stimulation, not penis size, is, is what actually makes a woman orgasm. And according to studies, most women preferred average size dicks to big ones. So where you guys mostly assume that we dick shame here, I wanted to start off 2024 by saying... Where's the white niggas? <laughs> <laughs> that is not... Oh, that's not what you say? That is not... Oh, I, sir. I thought you were trying to... Sir. I thought you were trying to turn over a new lead. Sir. I ain't know, my bad. We are not... <laughs> We are not sitting here <laughs> My bad. promoting <laughs> interracial. Yeah. We are not <laughs> promoting that. interracial sex, but I am promoting the fact that it does take some sort of stroke effort. Oh, we don't promote interracial sex? 
I mean, I know that we're products of interracial sex, but I don't promote it, bitch. I ain't no, fuck, no white Ooh, nigga. That'd be you. I, she said, I don't promote it. I know that you, you everybody yeah, dipping and dabbling it. in the different hey, ethnicities. Man, you said last yep. week you want to have BB ting. Ooh, that's true. Oh, so when I think interracial, it's black and white, babe. Come on, bro. It's bigger than that. <laughs> I'm thinking racism. Yeah, thinking, that's why I be trying 20? to say European. Like, I had a Euro. No, no, they're still white. No, oh, no, no, those no, are no, the no, little... It just made me feel better. Count. Those no, are the literal colonizers. No, 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 no. Euro is different than American white. Euro is different than American white. If, they're in, if they don't speak they English first... They literally who colonized the U.S. Of if they don't you. speak English first, it's spicy white. Yes. If they got an accent... Unless they're Russian or Ukrainian. That's white white. <laughs> I love how y'all make this make sense for your <laughs> <laughs> um, I have still yet only had sex with black men in my lifetime and plan to keep it Italians that way. Italians have a brown dick, though. You ever watch porn with like their, when they got the brown dick, the Mediterranean No, because as soon as I see it's attached to a white man, I stop watching. Mediterranean dick be kind of brown. I got brown medi, medi, medi dick. I don't know what I was going to call it. <laughs> well, it's because they don't have winter. What? what? It'd be, it be, it be sunny in Greek, in Greece. Who's tanning their dicks, Amanda? <laughs> so, in Mandy, Europe, yo, there's a lot the more nude beaches than in America. <laughs> Let's be very, thank you. So they are constantly. Hold on, we're having sun- sex, Clara. And you agree with her. <laughs> thank you. They are sunbathing <laughs> a lot more often in Europe than here in the U.S. Nude beaches are a thing out there. So that's why their dicks are browner, bro. They are sunbathing. I'm mad that she had a little bit of logic to support this shit right now. Bro, that's why I dicks wanted to try. Blueprints. That's We're not going to do that. Anyways. What's that? That's a- Anyways. Remember when Andrew came on horrible and Mandy said she don't believe in science and he just kept going. What about birth control? She was like, placebo. He was like, what about yeah. planes? How's a plane made? She goes, Blueprints. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have an answer for everything. By the way, before we get out of here, for our little dick men listening, come on. I wanted to share five positions to try when your penis just ain't hitting for what it should. Uh, ladies, this is what you could do as well to make sure that you actually feel something. So number one, of course, is reverse back cowgirl. Number two is the seated straddle. That is great, by the way. Mm. And if you are a part of our Patreon community, I'll make sure that this article is posted so y'all can look at these positions. The other one is the close-up, which actually looks very much like the seat of straddle. It's where you're just kissing in the straddle. Kissing the in the straddle, literally. The straddle's basically mm. like you're on a chair and the man sitting down. Yep. Or the bottom. I mean, or the top, sorry. The top sitting down and the bottom. The down. other one is reverse spoons, where literally you're just laying in front of each other and his dick is inside of you. And then the last one is Small the snake, which is actually... Him just grinding inside of you in doggy position. I've definitely had that. It's too much. Yeah, I don't really like the grinding, but, but I've uh, had it with a little I also dick. don't fuck little dicks. And uh, then, sorry, the little dick dudes go up and down a lot. Like they try to. Well, yeah, because they can't really. <laughs> they ain't got oh, girth yeah. to go in and out. It's like so they gotta just be like, let me <laughs> gyrate inside your puss. It'd be good. It's okay. like scissoring. Mm. Okay. Um. Anyways, we will not make it yet again to home mail this episode. Um, however, make sure you send your home mail into horribledecisions at gmail.com where we may or may not get to your shit because apparently we don't know how to keep track of time. Thank you, Alex, for joining us. Is there anything else you would like to end out with that could potentially lead to another two-minute conversation? I'm happy to see the gang back together. I'm pleasant. I'm, I'm very happy to join Horrible Decisions again. Uh, hopefully I get paid <laughs> Yo, come down. Not the, not the boot on It's the my spot. Oh, talk your shit. <laughs> he said, I bought this. Hopefully it's more than $50 this time, but we'll talk. <laughs> and, but honestly, two of you, I love both of you. I love Aww. both of you. I love what you guys have done. I, I saw this from the very beginning. That's why I don't care what you were willing to pay. I was willing to do it because more people needed to see what you guys were doing. Oh, don't it's make me so cry. Important. The tequila's hitting. And it's like, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just honored. I'm honored to... Uh, know you guys. I'm honored that I'm a part of this big thing that's going on and it's like, I just hope you guys take over the world. We try. I love you. It's making dating really hard, I but lo- I love we do it for you guys. <laughs> Thank you. Boy. you. Wait, tell people where to find you because a lot of people don't know Bitch, that flagrant has changed. Ta- oh, uh, oh, I didn't know flagrant changed. A lot of girls don't know about flagrant like that. They know it's just like Andrew uh, and Sports. Alex Media 2X is on Instagram and I'm on Flagrant and I'm on Brilliant Idiots. Look it up on YouTube. You'll find us. Thank you. That's it? Yeah. It's very, you'll find where the white niggas are at. If you like. And if you like this beautiful studio, WTFMediaStudios.com. Wheezy. 
say some other words that make it dope? Yeah, say some other words. There's wallpaper. There you go. There you go. <laughs> y'all, thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of Portable Decisions. Make sure you support us on our Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash Horrible Decisions. And also, you heard the ad at the top of this episode. If you are in London, make sure you go to whorehive.com and get your tickets now. We are in London on May the 5th. And though there's no Mexicans, I think, in London, we are going to be celebrating Cinco de Mayo on stage. No, we're not. We're not? You better not wear no damn sombrero, man. You know I'm half Mexican. Bitch, I'm coming out in the sombrero. And I'm giving the whole front row tequila shots. If the venue allows. I don't know. I I I just said it. Now I got to stick to it. But y'all make sure y'all go to whorehive.com. Y'all get the cheapest tequila in the front row. No, bitch. Thank you. We got money. We just just hold the world. We have money. They're going to whole front row? It depends how big the front row is. (laughs) (laughs) Y'all, I don't know the venue size yet. But anyways, thank y'all for tuning in to yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. See you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.